In this module, we're going to look a little more closely at the oscillators. So we touched on wavetable synthesis in the last module. But going on from there, a wavetable is basically a collection of different waveforms, which, as you can see, I can select by clicking and dragging on the display here or using the slider alongside. But rather than just choosing one of these waveform types, like this triangle wave here, and having it produce a sort of static sound, which you can do with basically any synth, uh, the more interesting sounds are created by morphing between these waveforms. So I want to use something to modulate the oscillator one position. Now if we look down here, we can see oscillator one position is the first parameter in the matrix. So if I want to use envelope two to modulate it, I just turn up the one alongside or just below rather envelope two here. I'm just going to bring this down two octaves because I'm going to create a bassy sound. And I'm also going to choose a different wavetable, one with a few more waveforms in, like sub two. So at the moment, because my current position is halfway through the wavetable, um, what's happening when it modulates is it jump, it's jumping right up to the top and not much is happening there. So what we want to do first is drag the position down to the bottom. And as you can see, it's jumping straight up to the top and then sliding down to the middle. But what we could do is drag this sustain level down to the bottom to have it go all the way up and down. And then use this decay amount here to set the speed with which we want it to demodulate down. So we'll leave it there for now. Now another way you can create really interesting modulated sounds with these oscillators is to modulate the effects. I'll use oscillator 2 for this, so I'll turn on that oscillator, turn off oscillator 1 for a moment, and I'll choose sub 2 again, and I'll take this one down but only an octave. So now to apply some of these effects, what I need to do is click on none here and choose the first one, so FM. But it won't do anything until I turn up the amount, so if I crank that up, you'll see and hear what happens to the waveform. This is a really good way of seeing exactly what happens to a waveform when FM is applied. And it's actually a pretty beautiful and artistic kind of display. And the other thing you can do is to change the tuning of the modulator, which will change the pitch of the harmonics that are produced. It's worth knowing here that values of 50 and 100 will produce harmonics that are in tune, and in between those values will get inharmonic over overtones, which produce a kind of out of tune and uh, dissonant kind of sound. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. And next what we're going to do is modulate this FM amount, which will change the nature of the harmonics in a similar way to modulating the position through the wavetable. So, this one isn't actually on the matrix as default, like oscillator one position was. However, if I click on a mount here, you can see it then pops up at the bottom, after which I can then do exactly the same thing, find the modulator I want to use to modulate it, and then turn up that amount. And then you can see the waveform uh, modulating there as that uh, FM amount goes up and then down. So I'm going to bring this envelope down as well. So it's going all the way through and I'm going to make this one a bit longer. So 
So now it's nice and long, as you can see, I can change the slope of that decay to change the kind of character those harmonics maybe have the top end hang around for a bit longer by dragging it up to the top there. And if I bring oscillator one back in now, then we've got this briefer kind of stabby sound right at the start accompanied by a longer drawn out FM sweep. And I can use the level dials here to set the volume of each one so I could perhaps bring down this transient so it's just adding a bit of extra crispness to the start of notes. Have it the other way perhaps and just have this adding some nice extra movement and color and then use the amplitude envelope to shape both sounds together so that's shown you some nice ways of modulating oscillators one and two to create a cool sound in the next module, we're going to take this further by adding some sub-bass layers and some creative split filtering. I'll see you then.